Hello, this is Cartman Productions, and today I'm going to be showing you how to harvest some uh, electrical wire from Christmas lights. Let's get going. And the other one. As I said, we're going to be harvesting wire from the Christmas lights because there is a ton of wire on here that is great for wiring and wire is expensive. So if you guys just have a, a couple little strands of Christmas lights that don't work anymore, LEDs would be the, the best ones to choose for this because if they're incandescence and you can see the filament inside, you can actually fix them fairly easily. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a video on that. The tools you're going to need for this, just a pair of cutters. And they don't have to be nice cutters like these. These are cobalt ones that work really nice. Cut like solid metal wire. You don't need good, nice cutters like this. You could just use a pair of scissors. Doesn't really matter. Wire strippers sometimes have cutters on them. Just whatever you guys have it. So you'll see there's two wires coming off this. Now the way these work is these wires have 110 or 120 volts coming through them. Basically wall outlet power going through them. Uh, it's AC current, which means that there's no plus or minus wire. They're both swapping back and forth, and wall outlet power swaps at 60 times a second, or 60 hertz. Used to call it psych. So you'll see there's two wires here, and then it quickly turns into three. Now that could start to confuse some people, but basically you got one going in there and two coming out. Well, you'll see the one just kind of runs along and the other one is connected to all the lights. So if we actually look at it, you'll see that's gonna be connected to bulbs. That's gonna be connected to about 50 bulbs or 100 bulbs or however many they chose to connect it to. When I'm cutting these off, I'm gonna start here, probably just chop it right there. And you'll see scissors work just fine for this wire. So here's your plug. If you ever have a plug go out on Christmas lights or something, you could always put this in with it. So, kind of interesting. Now you've got this end here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna pull this free wire here all the way through until I find the end. So we get the longest strand of wire possible because I wanna get the most wire in a single strand that I can. I've reached the point. I don't know how many bulbs down it was, but here is another bulb with three wires coming out of it. So when you find this, you want to cut this about there, out there, and you have your first strand of wire. So there you go. There's the first, first roll there. So what we're going to do now, because I want to save the bulbs, I'm going to start cutting the bulbs themselves off. So I'm going to chop the bulbs every so often probably right in the middle because i want to be able to reuse these bulbs for other stuff i don't know quite what i'm going to do with this many bulbs like this but i guess we'll see Once you get back our three string light, you'll see you now have a pile of bulbs cut off and put in a separate pile. That was the other three wire one. So now you're left with this strand of wire and another bulb one. Now you'll see this strand of wire keeps going as its own strand of wire. We're going to go ahead and go along and unwrap this strand of wire. This wire strand now comes to an end, so we're gonna cut it. We have another strand of wire, this one being double the length of our first strand. Now we have this, most of this strand, but just two wires going up it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the end of this again. It's right here. We're going to, once again, start chopping the lights off of it. So I ended up with three red and three green, three wire bulbs, 
and this pile here of ordinary bulbs. Now you could use these for whatever. You could use the orange ones for turn signals on small motor motorcycles and stuff if you wanted to. You could also use them for marker lights on vehicles. You could use these for tail lights or probably a little small for brake light unless you put like three or four of them in a line for a brake light. But you could use them for, you know, just little stuff like that. You could also sell them on eBay. Like I might go and sell some of these out on eBay if any of you guys are interested. Uh, I'd sell them for dirt cheap. That is how you harvest wire and light bulbs from dead Christmas lights. Next time on Cartman Productions. Oh man, I'm a bit